So, welcome back to another episode of the Basement Brew Review. I have a feeling this might be the last episode in the series. Might be. We are already a man down. Yep. Uh, but we are bringing to you on this episode another Monday Night Brewing Situational Ethics. This one is the Rye Barrel Aged Rocky Road Ooh. Imperial Stout. Rocky Road. Justin, you're not supposed to be yawning. Oh, sorry. Ro this is another one. It comes in at 13.9%. Ro -ro. Ro -ro. Ro -ro. So, so can you tell us more about it? Well, it's, it's Rocky Road like the... <laughs> like, like, cheers, boys, and he's like, no, we got to talk about it. Tell us me about it. Tell us me. You know, me. I, I think it tastes like Rocky Road. Tell me a story, Alex. I think it tastes like... You ever, had Rocky, yarn. <laughs> you ever had Rocky Road from uh, Fast Gravins? Mm -hmm. You ever put that in a rub, rye barrel? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you know how it's really. <laughs> okay, well, cheers. Cheers. Sometimes I wonder how our opinions differ as we go on through the night and we're more full and, you know, we're just chilling, chilling, tired. That's a lot of rye. I, it doesn't have a lot of flavor to me. No. No. Maybe, maybe I, my taste buds are shot. Does anybody taste any Rocky Road to that? No. No, I, I taste a, almost like a... Kind of like how we had one of the other beers earlier where it was kind of a dry, blandish, mm -hmm. more or less, but... Now, the last situated... Oh. Situational ethics. Thank you. That was <laughs> First rye like barrel aged. Well, house Anul. We, we had a rye barrel aged that version, and we didn't like it either. Right. Yeah. Or, I'm I, mean, not, I know I'm personally not a fan of rye barrels. Not stuff. either. So... I can, a little spicy on the rye. Yeah. Yeah. It just doesn't taste that. It just doesn't taste like anything. He's, he's it's just solid snoring. Snoring. <laughs> it just doesn't taste like much more than that. <laughs> oh, I hope that picks up on the video. I really do. <laughs> you get a tree falling down the yard. If a tree falls in a forest, it'll be here. Does anyone care? Oh, no. So it just doesn't taste to me. It tastes like just a plain old stout to me. Yeah, yeah. It is, nothing jumps out of that. Well, I, mean, I still, hot, I still, I get, stout. I get rye barrel out of it, but I don't care for rye barrel. So no, neither do I. That's what. Make it a little bit, but it's not. I like to see rye blended with some other flavors, like some vanilla mm -hmm. or some, you know, some coffee. This is just like I agree. It's, there's rye there, but it's just it's like an afterthought. Well, like yeah, Rocky Road should have something in it. So macadamia nuts, hazel. Almonds. Oh look, he's got. There's a description on the bottle. <laughs> Madagascar <laughs> vanilla. So Madagascar vanilla beans, not from God vanilla beans. Mm. Oh, it, it just I can't taste any of that. And milk. There's a milk chocolate. I can't have the. It starts with the G. The Giardelli. Giardelli. Milk, thank you. <laughs> That's bad. To mimic the chocolatey nuttiness of the classic ice cream. I can't taste any of that. No mm. magic. Maybe nothing. Maybe a little nuttiness? No, I don't taste much chocolate. Yeah. Well, we're drinking in the wrong glassware. It says we should drink uh, it out of the wine glass. Apparently that's the snifter. Mm, no, wine glass. That's not a snifter. That's just a snifter with a taller stem. Isn't that just a wine glass? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, that's a wine glass, bruh. 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 you just never seen a snifter No, a snifter, no, a snifter doesn't... Curve in like a snifter is straight up. No, I've seen snifters with a little tulip shape. That's not a Are we going to have a glassware review? Yes. We should. Because <laughs> I definitely the don't most, know the most glassware. pretentious review ever. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is this a snifter? We know, we, no, we should do. If we have enough of one beer, we should put it into different glassware see, and age it. And age it? Well, you said it's Bud Light? Let it sit on the counter and let it kind of. Well, yeah, for a little bit. That, yeah. I, don't, I wouldn't call it aging. We can do that with Bud Light, can't we? Yes. I find some Bud Lights and a. Bud Light Margarita Lime. <laughs> Numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, we're getting way sidetracked. 3.2. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting late in the night. So. I don't I don't dislike it. I don't really like it either. It's just a beer. I got it. It's just nothing, gotcha. nothing jumps out at me about it. It's, it's above average, I would say. But it's just a beer. Yeah, two and a half. Yeah. Take it or leave it. 
I was going to give it three six. So it's rye. I don't think we're we're not a big fan of rye. Yeah, rye brew. Well, that note. With that being said, from three of us, right? May, May the, the brew, brew be with, with you. It's Cheers. snoring in the back. Right. Yes. And dog, dog, cackling on the floor. Yeah, we apologize for the dog. And her. I apologize for nothing. I don't apologize to our viewers. I apologize for nothing. Nada! Give me the muddy tits. <laughs>